welcome to another lesson for the English language and this is for form 4. We are looking at the round up for unit 2. The title is ready for anything. Let's look at the aims. The round up activities or exercises, uh, they are aimed at helping students revise the structures, functions and vocabulary presented in module 2 through various activities or uh, the exercises. Then, uh, it is to give students opportunity to check their progress and also to encourage learner autonomy. Okay, let's look at the reminder. These exercises should be completed and pupils should calculate and write down their scores. Let's look at the first exercise. A. Circle the correct words. So you have number one, Alice was anxious, relieved about visiting the doctor. She hates hospital. So the answer is anxious. Let's look at number two. Mr. Smith made or did a big donation to our school. So the answer is made. Number three. The shop assistant tried to persuade or support Tom to buy the most expensive jacket. So answer will be to persuade. Number four, this bowl is made of wood or woods. So answer is wood. Number five, I found two hair or hairs in my foot. That's disgusting. Answer will be two hair. Number six, unfortunately, Mark didn't succeed or manage in winning the competition. So the answer is succeed. Number seven, will you keep an eye or keep a mind on our house while we are away? So the answer will be keep an eye. Number eight, I've approached or searched everywhere for my glasses but I can't find them. Answer will be search. So now let's look at exercise B where you have to complete with the correct prepositions. Hurry up. I'm a hurry. So answer will be I'm in a hurry. Number two, you can always rely. Answer will be on your parents for good advice. Number three, slow down. I can't keep up with you. Number four, I love hanging out with Tina. She's got a great sense of humor. Number five, you can't use that phone. It's out of order. Number six, try to become more sociable. For instance, ring up your friends more often and ask them to hang out together. Number seven, are you familiar with the way this machine works? Now let's look at C. Complete the blanks with quantifiers. So let's look at number one. Do you have any idea where my sunglasses are? Number two, I'm almost done with my homework. I only have a few more activities to do. Number three, there are obvious figures of celebrities at Madame Tussaud. So answer will be, there are lots of, there are plenty of wax figures. Number four, I can't go shopping because I have very money left. So answer will be, little money left. Number five, I've read lots or plenty of books but none were as good as the one I'm reading now. Whenever Peter's got some free time, he plays basketball. Number seven, I have so many chores to do that I don't know where to begin. Number eight, we didn't have any time to discuss the problem. Now for exercise D, Join the sentences using relative pronouns or adverbs and adding commas where necessary. Make any other necessary changes. So let's look at number one. 
I've just bought a new book. It was written by J.K. Rowling. The sentence will be, I've just bought a new book, which or that was written by J.K. Rowling. Number two, that boy is Jack. His father is my teacher. So the sentence is, that boy whose father is my teacher is Jack. Number three, look at that old school. I used to go there. So the sentence is, look at that old school where I used to go. Number four, Miss Robinson lives next door. She has got four cats. So Miss Robinson, who's got four cats, live next door. Or you can write, Miss Robinson, who lives next door, has got four cats. Number five, these earrings are lovely. My sister bought them for me. So the sentence is, these earrings which my sister bought for me are lovely. Or you can write, these earrings which or that my sister bought for me are lovely. Now let's look at exercise E. Complete the sentences with the past simple or the past continuous of the verbs in brackets. So let's look at number one. While the passengers were getting on the train, a fire broke out in one of the carriages. Number two, the burglar broke into the museum and stole the most expensive painting. Number three, as soon as the receptionist arrived, she turned on her computer. Number four, the detective was investigating the crime scene when he noticed some blood on the curtains. Number five, the police officer stopped me because I was talking on my mobile phone while I was driving. Now let's look at the next exercise, which is F. Choose the correct response. There are two extra responses which you do not need to use. So let's look at the first question. What's wrong with Faye? Number two, wow, look at what Jane did to her hair. Number three, mom, can I go to the cinema tonight? Number four, please. Keep it to yourself. Number five, I hope we manage to raise a lot of money for the homeless. Now let's look at the responses. Let's keep our promise. Number A, uh, that is A. B, that's out of the question. You've got school tomorrow. C, let's keep our fingers crossed. D, are you out of your mind? That's dangerous. E, I guess she's in a bad mood again. F, she really likes to stand out. G, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. So let's look at the answer for number one. What's wrong with Faye? Answer is E, I guess she's in a bad mood again. Number two, wow, look at what Jane did to her hair. So the response is... F. She really likes to stand out. Number three, mom, can I go to the cinema tonight? So the answer is B. That's out of the question. You've got school tomorrow. Number four, please keep it to yourself. Answer is G. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. The last one, five, I hope we manage to raise a lot of money for the homeless. Answer is C. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Now, check whether you can talk about extreme activities, use quantifiers, define people, places, things and ideas, and give additional information about them. And then, whether you can describe a person, narrate past events, describe your feelings, and use linking words or phrases and also write a story. So now you are going to do more exercises 
for song 1 on page 132, exam practice, page 141, and then video worksheet, page 149. So let's look at song 1. Look at the words below. How many words can you find to rhyme with them? So you have faster, strong, bike, and brave. For module 2, song 1 is out of my mind. You can scan this QR code to listen to the song. And then for the first question, look at the words below. How many words can you find to rhyme with them? So the answer will be the first one for faster. You have disaster, you have blaster, strong, you have song, wrong, long, belong, bike, you have like, disliked, strike, Hike and brave, you have cave, wave, sleeve, give, safe, and behave. Now for B, read the song and try to guess the missing words. Then you can listen and check your answers. So do scan the QR code to listen to the song. So let's look at the answers out of my mind. At this Height, I could fall to my death. Here I go, time to hold my breath. Skydiving down, falling faster and faster. If the parachute fall, fails, it could be a disaster. Out of shape but feeling strong, out of danger but not for long, out of breath but in control, out of my mind, body and soul. Jungle paths are tough, but that's what I like. But it's no place to fall off a bike. The next thing I know, I'm in all sorts of trouble. With dangerous snakes around, it could be doubled. Out of shape, but feeling strong. Out of danger, but not for long. Out of breath, but in control out of my mind, body and soul. When I'm surfing, I look for perfect waves. But things can get, can get rough. But you have to be brave. Looks like I'm in trouble, but all is not lost. I have an idea. Keep your fingers crossed. Now we are moving on to exam practice. So for module 2, you have the first exercise. A. Here are some sentences about two friends. Complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first. Use no more than three words. So let's look at number 1. Laura always makes Sandra laugh as she's very funny. So Laura got a great sense of humor and always makes Sandra laugh. Number 2. Laura and Sandra have got the same interests. So the answer is Laura has got many things in common with Sandra. Last week, the girls were watching a documentary about skateboarding and they decided to take it up. The girls decided to take up skateboarding last week while they were watching a documentary about it. Number four, Laura went shopping and when she saw a red skateboard, she immediately bought it. So the sentence, Laura bought a red skateboard as soon as she saw it in the shops. Number five, Laura and Sandra don't know any skateboarding tricks. Sentence, Laura and Sandra aren't familiar with any skateboarding tricks. Number six, a friend taught the girls a difficult trick. So the sentence is, the girls learned a trick which or that is difficult from a friend. And the last sentence, number seven, they didn't let Laura and Sandra enter the skate park without knee pads. So Laura and Sandra weren't allowed to enter the skate park without knee pads.
Dear pupils, now for exercise B. Complete the blanks in the text with one word. So you have here action woman. When Tom Cruise refused the leading role in the action film Salt. So number one is few people believed the film would never be made. However, the producers decided to find a female star for the role. In the end, they chose an actress who was fast becoming an action film legend Angelina Jolie and she didn't let them down. She worked extremely hard to get in shape and became and become strong and quick for her fight scenes. She trained every day and followed a special diet to gain muscle without losing any weight. She also practiced all sorts of martial arts like Muay Thai and Krav Maga for two hours, three to four times a week. Most of the stunts in the film were performed by her, so very little work had to be done by a stunt person. For some actors, that is out of the question, but not for her. Angelina loves doing action scenes and she is definitely not someone terrified of heights. However, she got quite a few bruises during filming and she also had an accident. She told everyone she was fine, but her trainer managed to take her to the hospital where doctors checked her out. Fortunately, she was okay and was back at work the next day. She is definitely one of the most professional actors working today and this becomes obvious when you see Salt, which is a fantastic action film. Dear pupils, now we are doing the next activity which is the video worksheet. So the warm-up activity for number one is you are given six words here like altitude, parachute, skydive, hot air balloon, speed and wind suit. So you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in the box. Then watch part one of the video and then check your answers. Dear pupils, you can scan the QR code and watch the video. So the video is about skydiving. Now let's look at the video worksheet. So the first one is warm up. A. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in the box. Then watch part one of the video and check your answers. So you have words altitude, parachute, skydiver, hot air balloon, speed and wing suit. So these are the sentences. Number one, as the jump from the plane, he took a picture of the ground below. So the answer is skydiver. Number two, even though the man didn't open properly, he was able to survive because he landed on a tree. So answer will be parachute. Number three, from the the tree seems so small and the cars look like toys. So from the hot air balloon. Number four, the first time I wore a or an, I felt like I was flying. So answer will be wing suit. Number five, the plane was flying at a or an of 6,000 meters and the pilot lost control. Answer will be an altitude. Number six, the peregrine falcon can fly at a or n of 320 km per hour. So answer will be at a speed. Let's move on to the while watching activity. So let's look at B. Watch part 2 of the video. Which of the following do you see in the video? So you have parachute, hot air balloon, Helicopter, mountain, bridge, and bird. 
dear pupils, do remember to scan this QR code to watch video 2 part B. Now let's look at the answers for while watching. So again, which of the following do you see in the video? So answer will be parachute, hot air balloon and also mountain. Now for part C, you need to watch part 2 again and complete the sentences. So let's look at number 1. It is a good idea for skydivers to check their equipment before jumping. Number 2. During skydiving lessons, you learn about the weather and how to control a parachute. Number 3. The free fall stage of a skydive usually lasts about a minute. Number 4. About 30 people die from skydiving every year. Number 5. Fred Mack decided to go skydiving at the age of 100. The last one, number 6. Wingsuits first started to become popular in the 1990s. Now for D, watch part 2 again and answer the questions. So you have 6 questions here. How many parachutes should a skydiver bring? Number 2. What is a safe height for skydivers to jump from? Number 3. What is the fastest speed a skydiver falls at? Number 4. According to the video, what is more dangerous than skydiving? Number 5. How many days did it take Michael Zhang to complete 500 jumps? And number 6. Where can you find the wings on a wingsuit? So let's look at answer for number 1. Uh, how many parachutes should a skydiver bring? So the answer will be, a skydiver should bring two parachutes. Number two, what is a safe height for skydivers to jump from? So the answer will be, 2,000 to 4,000 meters is a safe height. For number three, what is the fastest speed a skydiver falls at? So the answer will be, 210 km per hour is the fastest speed. So number four, according to the video, what is more dangerous than skydiving? So the answer will be driving a normal car. On a normal day, it is more dangerous. Number five, how many days did it take Michael Zhang to complete 500 jumps? So the answer will be it took him one day. Where can you find? The last question, number six, where can you find the wings on a wingsuit? So the answer will be, you can find them between the arms and legs. Now let's look at the activity for after watching. E is discuss. Would you like to try skydiving? What other extreme sports would you like to try? What do you think is the most dangerous extreme sport? So you can discuss this with your classmates. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. And then just now you did the round out for Unit 2 or Module 2. So see you in the next lesson for English language. Thank you. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator OmniTube. See you in the next lesson. Bye.